Now, the first show of every week, thanks to our friends at Kubi Energy. We focus on something that fills our bucket, a good news story, something to get our week started off on the right foot. We call it Positive Reflections. And in this week's edition, a bit of a change of pace. Instead of reading one of your emails or your tweets or showing a video that you've shared with us via our email inbox, we want to talk to somebody live. And it's a real pleasure to welcome to the program the founder of Calio Collective, Lena Haley. A good morning to you, Lena, and, and welcome to the show. And thanks for making time for us this morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. I'm so honored to be part of your positive reflection. Yeah, well, listen, we want every week to focus on something that makes us feel good about what our fellow humans are being. And that certainly qualifies you and, and what your team is doing, supporting single moms leading up to Mother's Day. Can you tell us about the initiative? Yeah. So as an organization, Kaleo Collective helps support single moms and their children. You know, we, we just believe in helping um, support those women as they move forward in their life and to create uh, sustainable families that, you know, really break off those cycles of emotional and financial poverty. So as an organization, that is the heart and uh, soul of who we are and underpins everything we do. And so you know, as we look forward and anticipate Mother's Day coming up, you know, we started asking ourselves the question of how do we help to support families in this instance? And that um, that led us to the Love You Mama event. Yeah. So and tell us about this one. This is this is for the kids kind of in a way to be able to show some love to mom. Right. Exactly. Exactly. You know, single moms are pulling double duty all the time. Right. And and that goes the same thing for, and maybe even more so for big events like Mother's Day, like Christmas, you know, Easter, all of that. So what we have done is we've created an event that sort of turns that on its head a little bit and allows the child to actually be the one doing something for mom on Mother's Day. So um, what that looks like is we set up this beautiful shop at London Dairy Mall, and we um, allow children of single mom families to come into our little shop. And this year they get to create a custom bouquet uh, for mama um, with all of these beautiful flowers from Charmed Floral Design in St. Albert. And then they get to pick a little gift and they take home a sweet treat. And it's just, it's a beautiful day where they get to be the ones behind the surprise for mom for Mother's Day. Amazing. So you've been doing it in past years and people can support it and check out the details at kaleocollective.ca. That's K-A-L-E-O, kaleocollective.ca. But my understanding is, is that demand is way up this year. You're, you're hoping to really, really shatter the previous numbers. Yes. Oh, yes. We did not foresee um, the event taking off this year. You know, like you said, we have run it in past years. Every year it has grown. This will be our seventh year doing it. Um, but last year we had 100 children. And this year we have got 500 500, nearly 500 children this year are asking to participate in this event. It's free for the kids and the moms to come and participate. But of course, you know, it's not free for us to put it on. So we are hoping that perhaps some of the Real Talk fans will help us adopt a mom this Mother's Day. Um, it's $50. You can adopt one or 21 and uh, take some of those kids off of our waiting list because right now half the kids are still on the waiting list. Wow. So 50 bucks to, to, to make somebody's Mother's Day an unbelievably special experience. Uh, you've got 500 little ones or 500 families that are hoping to be able to take advantage of this, which is both heartwarming and also at the same time a bit of a gut check for us, isn't it? That these resources are needed and that this is something that the community can help out on. What's been the response in past? What have, what have kids and what have moms told you in past years? Oh, you know, it, it's always one of those events that really catches you right in the heart. You know, the kids, when they come into the shop, I mean, their eyes just glow because they're so excited. In some ways, they kind of feel like they're sneaking one over on their mom, right? They're like, she's never going to guess what I picked. So the kids are excited, so excited and so full of pride. They're so, um, you know, they just love their mom so much. And so to be able to do this for them feels really good and fills their cup up. And, you know, the moms are quite emotional as well, because 
they recognize that if we didn't have an event like this, that Mother's Day would go on just as any other day for them, right? Where they're doing the cooking, doing the cleaning, doing the caring. So this sort of interrupts that cycle and that routine and allows them to be honored and spoiled a little bit. So the moms actually feel really, really touched by it. And, you know, one thing that I think is really interesting to note that not a lot of people think about when you think about single moms, but we actually have a large number of young widows that we work with. So oftentimes they're not just feeling, you know, um, tired on Mother's Day, but they're also still grieving the loss of a spouse who used to do these things for them. So for the children to be able to step into that space is, uh, is really, really um, impactful for the whole family. That's such a great reminder. Uh, Lady, before I thank you for your time, uh, I, I wanted to ask you bigger picture. Uh, about some of the other programs and services and resources that Kaleo Collective offers and makes available to moms. And again, people can check it out, K-A-L-E-O, kaleocollective.ca. Can, can you tell us about like the, the Single Mom Support Group and the Single Mom Resource Course and Meals for Mama and, and Launch Your Life? You've got a lot going on. Yeah, we do, you know, and we are, you know, the programs and services that we run are, you know, so um, like everything we do is just really heart-centered. So we it's important to us that we find out from the moms what it is that they need and how we can support them right in their needs. So the single mom support group runs every week. Um, during the pandemic, we pivoted it to, you know, online via zoom. And that was really interesting for us because we learned that for some moms, that was just so much easier. We do it at nine o'clock at night, um, every Thursday from nine to 10 PM on zoom. And it is a way where they cannot be alone in the evenings. And they're typically used to being alone when their kids are in bed. So we do that. Um, and sometimes we take that show on the road and we do it in person, you know, now that we're able to gather again. So uh, we have some, many of our leaders are actually moms within the Kaleo family. So Linnea, for example, plans park play dates and meetups and things like that all over, all over the place, um, you know, at, at different parks in, in and around the Edmonton area. So our support group is a way for them to learn some information and just to connect really deeply. Um, and then the single mom resource course is sort of when those moms are ready to sort of build some tools and skills in their lives that make life just a little bit easier. Some of them aren't the most fun, you know, budgeting, meal planning, time management, those things, but it are, but they are those big rocks so that they can make sure that they've got all their ducks in a row and then they can have um, bits of time that they can find in their life. So the single mom resource course is really for moms that are on that growth track and are really looking to grow. And then we offer, you know, um, some help with psychological services for women that might find themselves in need of some subsidization there. Uh, really everything that we do focuses on three things, connection. So how do we connect them together? How do we help them heal? And how do we help them grow? And we let the moms, for the most part, lead those initiatives and tell us what they need that we can do to, to come around them and support them. I wouldn't be surprised if this uh, interview, this positive reflection prompts some people to make a more regular or recurring uh, contribution or, or, or support donation to Kaleo Collective. Uh, it's been a real pleasure uh, to connect with you, Lena Haley, the founder of Kaleo Collective. And thanks for making time for us. Best of luck with your event coming up this next weekend. Yes, thank you so much. Thanks for having me and have a wonderful rest of your week. Yeah, you as well. So Real Talkers, here's the call to action. You can check out kaleocollective.ca. We'll tweet it from our official account. And please do consider showing them, those families, your valuable support as we head toward Mother's Day. There you have it. Last week's Positive Reflections, digging up a safe out of a river in England and something a little closer to story. home this week. And I love what she had to say We always well. want to fill people's buckets <laughs> on Monday. Thanks to our friends at Kubi Energy. Of course, you can get your free solar quote today at kubienergy.ca. And you can send us your positive reflection anytime to our email inbox, talk at ryanjesperson.com. 